Hello everybody, Jack here, and today we're going to be going through Macro Recorder Pro. This is the $140 version of the tool, and in this video, what I'm going to show you is how to set up an image detection macro. This video is about a paid product. It's something that I've purchased for myself, and today I'm here to talk to you about the main features of Macro Recorder Pro. There's a free version of the tool that anyone can download and use. There's the standard version, the professional version, and then this enterprise version. The free version has a couple main limitations. You can't use detect image. You can't use wait for pixel color. You can't use execute program, repeat, or go to. And your repetitions of the macro itself is limited to nine. Those are the limitations of the freeware version of Macro Recorder. The standard version is like $40, and unfortunately, it doesn't really do that much for you because you still don't, you still can't make the really good macros. There's a couple main features you need to make really good macros. So you wait for things to be a certain color before moving forward so that you know you're in the right place and image detection as well. Image detection makes things a lot more reliable. Now, let's start making our macro. Before we start on the macro, I'm going to go to YouTube and show you what we're going to do with our macro. On YouTube, we want to make a macro that scrolls down and looks for a specific channel. How about this? That's a cool little logo. We're going to open Macro Recorder and we're going to add a detect image here. You click on detect image and we're going to click on capture bitmap, okay? And now we have a selection box, so I can drag this cursor and make a box somewhere. And I'm gonna do it right in the center of their logo. Boom. So all it's looking for is this part. We've defined our bitmap that we're looking for. This is the image that will be recognized, right? And now we're gonna go and look at this. If image has been found, then mouse position centered. That means that it will center the mouse position on the center of the image. Then it will go to the next command. And if the image is not found after one second, then it's going to end the entire macro, okay? Now, that alone isn't gonna do anything because I also need to add some mouse scrolls. Select this. Append recording, and now we're doing mouse wheel down. That's what it's called. Now we're clicking escape. When you're making macros, it's usually easier to record the actions than it is to put them line by line. We're going to change all of these. So the wait times are just going to be like 100 milliseconds in between each of these actions. Okay? So now this searches for an image and then we'll end, it would click on it. So we actually need it to be over here. We need it to be in the end. I'm going to get rid of this mouse click because it's not necessary. All we need are a couple mouse wheel down movements. All right, so we have three of them. So now what we want is a click. We're going to add a left click that's relative to the current mouse position, okay? And that's all. Now I'm on the YouTube main screen and I'm going to run the macro. It scrolls down, looks tries again, scrolls down, looks, tries again, finds it, and here we are. And I wanted to show you this because when you use image recognition and wait times, then you end up just building much more reliable macros. Remember, if you wanna end a macro, just click escape. If you noticed, when we ran this macro, it continued on this page, kept scrolling down. We wanna stop it from doing that, and there's a very simple way to do that. What we need is to look somewhere on the screen that's always a certain pixel color, which coincidentally is right here. And the space between the YouTube videos is gonna be white the whole time until we click on a video. So how do you do that? To do that, we'll need to use wait for pixel color. You can find wait for pixel color under the wait times. It's the second one from the top. Now we're going to add this in the very beginning of the macro. And we're gonna do that by adding a wait for pixel color. Now we can pick the coordinate by alt tabbing. We're gonna use this pixel right here. Click space. 
you can see the confirmation, the macro recorder captured it. Now we can know that this is the exact coordinate of that pixel. It also captures the color for us. Next to go to next, we wanna make sure that if this happens, it finds the color, it goes to the next. And if it doesn't, we're gonna keep this value. After 120 seconds, go to end. So it's gonna wait two minutes and end unless that pixel is the right color, all right? And now this we want to have in the very beginning of the macro. We can get rid of the original weight. In general, for your brain's sake, it's good to have a short wait in between every single command, unless there's a reason for the commands to all happen at the same time. Now, let's see what happens if we run the macro. Now, I'm back on the YouTube page, and I'm going to run the macro. It scrolls down immediately, because the pixel is the right color. Now, eventually, it's gonna find the YouTube channel it wants. And if we set everything up correctly, it's going to just end the macro and stop running it, because, the pixel isn't the right color. And look, let's see. Oh, it can tell the pixel's the wrong color. See? And boom, look at that. That means it worked. If you're an individual who uses the computer a lot, then it is possible for macros to be something that saves you substantial amounts of time. Once you start using macros, uh, essentially anything you do on a regular basis, you do it more than once, that's the perfect thing to make a macro that shortens it. By using macros, you reduce the amount of mental resources you have to spend. Say that you're a person who spends like four to eight hours a day on a computer, then there's tons of things that you can make much faster. Anytime you're learning something like, like macros, you're able to get yourself more of your time. And that's really something that is incredibly valuable, right? If you would like to try Pro out, then minimize this video, scroll down, and click on the first link in the description of this video. This is my affiliate link, and it will give me credit for your purchase. It's a $140 one-time payment, no expensive monthly payments. Make sure that you understand the features and you know what you're getting into. Just plop this on a credit card and you're good to go. Start getting more time if you're a heavy computer user. Thanks for watching, and as always, see you next time.